All right, guys, welcome to my video on how to screenshot anything with Windows. Um, so we're going to use a tool called Stipping Tool that's already built into all Windows computers. Um, it's extremely easy to use. You can use it to screenshot images that otherwise you can't download, snippets of text, or basically anything that's on your screen that you want to save as an image. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to open up Snipping Tool and you can do this by going to all programs and finding it or what I like to do is I use the Windows search bar I type it in it pops up I click on snipping tool then the toolbar is now open in that upper left hand so there's four modes uh, in snipping tool we have full screen snip window snip rectangular snip and freeform snip so here's full screen mode. Uh, we're going to move our cursor down to where it says full screen snip. And the second I click full screen snip, it's going to take an entire screenshot of my whole screen. So it'll show you part of my desktop and it'll show you this whole window. It has the Google open. And it'll show you also my taskbar down at the bottom. Okay, so here we go. All right, here it is, high resolution picture on my screen. As you can see, the whole screen is included. If you want to save this, what we can do is we go to File, Save As, and you can name it. We'll say Full Screen. And you can save it as a PNG, uh, a GIF file, JPEG, or a single HTML, HTML file. Um, so we're just going to screenshot it and save it as a ping. Hit save, and we're done. Next, we're going to do rectangular snip. So we're going to go ahead and select rectangular snip under mode like before. Now what we have to do is we have to hit new so we go to the left corner right here where it says new and click on that and now you can see the screen becomes transparent um, anything behind this toolbar I can snip so what you're going to do is you start at one corner you click and you hold and then you drag all the way to where the opposite corner of the rectangle should be okay Next, we're going to show you Window Snip again. Go select it under Mode. Window Snip is the cousin of Desktop Snip, but it's only going to screenshot what you have open in a window. So, what I'm going to do is I hit New after I selected Window Snip. Now it gives me this little hand cursor. So, what I can do is I can select whatever window I have open and it will screenshot whatever it shows on the screen. So I'm just going to click this tab right here. And as you can see, it's screenshotted just the size of what that window was. All right. So next I'm going to show you how to do a freeform snip. Okay. So what I'm going to do is again, I select freeform snip, click on it. Then I hit new. Now this little scissor icon is going to come up indicating that I can click and hold wherever I want to go and it gives me the freedom to select my boundaries. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to try to circle around these two little O's right here in the form of a head. So I'm going to click, hold, come through, and I'm done. All right. And something so something that's really cool about snipping tool is that you can actually draw and highlight on the screenshots that you take so we're going to go select the pen icon then you can actually customize the pen uh, you can customize the color uh, the thickness and the point um, so we're going to go with a thick point pen and you can actually select between chisel and round tip but I think we're just going to do a round tip for now. I'm going to hit OK. 
and then you can click and drag wherever you want to draw. To erase, we're going to go click the uh, eraser icon, which is to the right of the highlighter. And then uh, it's not great, so once you click it, it just deletes the entire line. And that brings us to the end of this video. Thank you for watching.